In this lesson, let's recall what happens when we create new activity. So once we type name of the activity and send this form, the new event will be fired from the activity form component to the activities component. And eventually this event will end up in the root component. So root component can add new activity object to activities array. And that activity name that user just entered will be assigned to the name property of activity object. So as it turns out, just to add a new object to activities array, we had to fire a bunch of custom events from the deeply nested component all the way up to the root component. And let's try to simplify this process right now by using our familiar technique, provide inject. But before that, let's actually take a closer look at the process of creating new activity. So everything starts from the activity form component. As we can see, here we have a listener for the submit event. And once we submit that form with activity name, we're gonna trigger this function called submit, which as a first instruction in here is going to fire a custom event submit to the parent component. And as a payload, it's gonna send activity object, which represents new activity. And one of the properties of this object stores that value that user just entered in the input field. So then, inside of the activities component, we listen for the submit event and fire another custom event create activity to the root component. And eventually, we're going to handle this event by calling create activity function defined inside of the root component, which is basically going to push newly created activity object to the activities array. So as always, to avoid registering all those listeners and firing a lot of custom events. We're gonna register this function by using provide function call. So this way every descendant components will be able to get access to this function by calling inject. So now we can get rid of a bunch of event listeners. Let's start from create activity event. We're gonna remove this line and instead we're going to get access to create activity function from within the activity form component by firstly importing inject function from the view package and then calling this function to obtain the reference to create activity function and storing it within create activity constant and then we're gonna use this function to basically call it once we submit the form to create new activity instead of firing this custom event and eventually this function is going to just push this new activity object to the activities array which is declared within the root component. So we don't need to use the find emits macro anymore because there is no custom events that this component fires. Let's remove this macro as well as that import of is activity valid validation function. And now let's go up one more level inside of the activities component. Here we don't need to listen for the submit event. Let's remove this directive as well as a registration of this event within define emits macro. And finally, let's go inside of the root component. And once our function create activity will be called as a first parameter, it's gonna get new activity object. And this is exactly the object that we are creating right here after we have submitted activity creation form. So this create activity function is gonna push new activity object to activities reactive array which is basically going to update our UI and add one more list entry to the activities list. So let's try it out. I'm gonna send this activity creation form and right away I see that the newly created activity appeared on the page and the new activity object was added to activities array. And just because everything happens reactively, the new activity item component was created and added to the DOM. And this way we have simplified activity creation process and instead of firing a bunch of custom events to the root component, we have provided access to that function which is responsible for creating new activities from the root component to all descendant components. And now if any descendant components will need to create new activity, it can call that function right away. And the new list entry will appear on the activities page. That's it for this lesson.